Check the APGAR score at one minute and five minutes. Assessment of gestational age, new Ballard score. Assess the posture for degree of flexion of the extremities. At term, a newborn's legs and arms are moderately flexed at rest. Preterm newborns show lower degrees of flexion. Assess square window by grasping the newborn's forearm and gently flexing the wrist towards the inner arm. Term newborn's hands should touch the wrist, resulting in a zero degree angle. Preterm newborns show greater angles of flexion at the wrist. The younger the gestational age, the less flexibility at the wrist. Very preterm newborns have an angle of wrist flexion of 90 degrees or more. Measure arm recoil by first flexing and holding both forearms for five seconds, then extending the arms and hands fully at the newborn side. Next, release the hands and allow the arms to recoil, returning to flexion. Measure the angle of flexion at the elbow to determine the arm recoil score. Term newborns demonstrate full recoil to a position of flexion, and preterm newborns show less flexion. So what we're going to do is we're going to flex the arms of the baby for five seconds, and then place the arms against the side. And what we're going to see is the baby flex their arms. This is what we want to see. With the newborn's thigh pressed against their abdomen, measure the popliteal angle by moving the foot gently towards the head until you meet resistance. At this point, measure the angle behind the knee in the popliteal area. Term newborns are less flexible, with about a 90 degree angle. Very preterm newborns, the leg straightens to a 180 degree angle. To check for popliteal angle, you're gonna move the newborn's thigh against the abdomen and then move the foot towards the head, and you're going to measure the angle behind the knee. Assess scarf sign by grasping the newborn's hand and attempting to cross the arm over the body at the neck. Term newborns meet resistance before crossing the midline. Preterm newborns cross the elbow past the midline. Check for scarf sign by moving the baby's arm across the body. Assess the heel to ear by raising the newborn's heel towards the head in an attempt to bring the foot to the ear. Do not raise the newborn's buttocks off the examination surface. Term newborns will meet resistance when attempting this procedure. With preterm newborns, you'll come close to touching the heel to the ear. Move the heel towards the ear. If you feel resistance, that's a term infant. If the heel goes all the way up to the ear, that would be preterm.